Welcome to Creative Biomart. Today, we are going to explain WNT signal pathway. The W signal pathway is an evolutionarily conserved signal pathway that regulates cell migration, cell polarity, and neural and organ formation during embryonic development. The major signaling downstream of the frizzled receptor have been identified, including the canonical WNT beta catenin signal pathway and the non canonical beta catenin independent signal pathway. The non canonical WNT signaling pathway is further divided into planar cell polarity signal pathway and WNT calcium signal pathway, which are being molecularly and biochemically resolved. Firstly, we are going to introduce WNT protein. The WNT gene was first discovered in 1982, in the study of the transcriptional mechanism of mouse mammary tumor virus. A protein-mediated signal transduction of growth and development between cells was found in mouse breast cancer. The gene in the normal embryonic development can make Drosophila be wingless. The coding gene of the protein was called int1. Combine the two words wingless and int1, known as WNT. The WNT protein binds to the extracellular and terminal cystine-rich domain of the frizzled receptor. The frizzled protein is a family of transmembrane proteins that cross the cell membrane seven times, which have a similar topological structure as the G protein coupled receptors. The interaction of WNT with frizzled requires co-receptors to co-regulate the WNT signal pathway. Next, extracellular regulators of WNT. WNT aided glycoprotein and is modified and released into extracellular environment prior to its transport. WNT protein is glycosylated and palmitoylated in the endoplasmic reticulum. WNT proteins can be bound and stabilized by heparin sulfate proteoglycans. Many secreted proteins that bind to WNT and block their interaction with frizzled or LRP5-6 in the extracellular matrix have been identified. Regulatory factors norin and respondin 2 can bind to the LRP5-6 receptor and activate the WNT signal pathway independent of WNT ligand. First signal pathway is the WNT beta catenin signal pathway. The hallmark of the WNT signal pathway is the accumulation and translocation of adhesion related protein beta catenin within the nucleus. Without WNT signaling, beta catenin in the cytoplasm is degraded by beta catenin destruction complex, which includes axine, adenomatosis protein APC, protein phosphate is 2A, glycogen synthase kinase 3, and casein kinase 1 alpha. The complex UNT with its receptors frizzled and LRP5-6 triggers a series of activities that target the destruction complex of beta-catenin. Binding of WNT to the frizzled LRP5-6 complex induces membrane translocation of the key signaling negative regulator axine. Axine binding to LRP5-6 during its membrane translocation is catalyzed by CK1 gamma or GSK3 mediated phosphorylation of LRP5-6. Binding of axine to LRP5-6 in some way leads to the activation of DSH. DSH is phosphorylated by many kinases, including casein kinase 1. DSH protein is activated. It inhibits the activity of GSK3 enzyme and activates a series of complex signals to stop the degradation of beta-catenin and induce its stability and accumulation in the cytoplasm. A large number of nuclear beta-catenin binding partners have been identified, of which the most representative is the DNA binding transcription factor LEF or TCF. Next is the non-canonical WT signal pathway. One of them is the planar cell polarity signal pathway. The PCP signal emerged from the genetic study of Drosophila, in which mutations in WNT signaling proteins frizzled and DSH randomized the orientation of epithelial structures, 
including the stratum corneum and the sensory main. Frizzled co-receptors of non-canonical PCP signaling activate DSH. The PDC and department domains of DSH were used to activate two parallel pathways that activate the small GT passes RO and RAC respectively. In order to activate the RO signaling branch, WNT signaling induces the formation of the DSH DAM1 complex and activates DAM1. Activated RO induces activation of RO associated kinase and myosin, resulting in modification of the actin cytoskeleton and cytoskeletal rearrangement. The second branch requires the DEP domain of DSH to activate RAC. This activation is independent of DAM1, and the activated RAC in turn activates JNK. Another one is WNT calcium signal pathway. This pathway can further regulate the classic WNT beta catenin signal pathway as well as the PCP signal pathway. The WNT calcium pathway revealed that WNT and frizzled receptors stimulate intracellular calcium release from the endoplasmic reticulum, which is dependent on the G protein. WNT 5A, WNT 11 and frizzled 2 promote intracellular calcium release without affecting the stability of beta catenin. Calcium release and intracellular accumulation activate various calcium sensitive proteins including PKC and calmodulin-dependent kinase 2. Studies have shown that CAMKI activates the transcription factor in fat to regulate the fate of abdominal cells in the Xenopus embryos. CAMKI also activates TGF-beta kinase DAK1 and Nemo-like kinase to inhibit beta-catenin and TCF signaling. Calcium can also activate PKC which regulates the process of tissue separation during gastrulation by activating the small pus CDC42. Finally, there are various diseases are related to WNT signal pathway. Dysfunction of WNT pathway can lead to cardiovascular diseases, tumor, and nervous system diseases. WNT signal pathway involves in many complex cellular physiological activities and biochemical reactions, the dysfunction can lead to a variety of diseases. If you want more information or have any questions about signal pathways, please contact us via email. You can also log in our website. You can find me at www.creativebiomart.net for more information. Thank you for your attention.